today we are going to be cooking these fantastic little birds and these little birds are quail as you can see they are tiny cute amazing miniature like mini chickens and what we're going to do is we are going to marinate these in some herbs and some spices you know add a bit of heat to it and we're going to roast them off and we're going to serve them on a nice round of some real nice fried bread so i'm going to gather up the ingredients we'll start making that marinade and we'll get it in the fridge then because we want to marinate it for at least two hours okay when you're making your marinade then just use whatever you feel whatever you've got in your store cupboard i'm going to start at the base with a good glug of sunflower oil here i've got two garlic cloves chopped i'm going to put them in i'm also going to add a couple of glugs of soy sauce just starting to build it up into that I'm going to put some chilli flakes I like mine quite hot I'm going to put a bit of dry thyme you know just play with what you've got I'm done sure you've got uh, tons of stuff in the cupboard a bit of lemon juice then I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of mustard this Chooksby mustard you know it's, it's made with horseradish as well it is one of the best mustards I've had you know and I'm a Coleman's English mustard man but this is amazing so what you do is get it in there whip it all up and what I'm going to do I'm going to spatchcock those little quails I'll show you how to do that now we'll get it in there get it covered and we will get it in the fridge and for at least two hours just check that a minute mmm mmm I think I'm going to season that up so a bit of pepper in a little bit more salt and what you do then is taste it balance it up and when you've got the right combo Bob's your uncle these really are some cool looking little things I mean they're amazing they're almost like a toy what we're going to do is we're going to spatchcock and all that means I don't know if you've seen the video before I'm just going to cut that backbone out so it's straight in and then you're left with that you place it down palm of your hand you can hear that crack that's the breastbone and the wishbone and then that way it'll all cook evenly and you can get an even marinade and these won't take like, very long you know a high oven 15 to 20 minutes amazing so what we do my marinade give it a whip up just get the birds in there give them a good coating on the other one lovely we'll cover those over then and we should put them in the fridge okay I have forgot one major ingredient and that is that I don't know if you know but I'm from Worcester in Worcestershire in England and this sauce this is the original I mean I watched the telly and some people have you know Worcestershire sauce made by all kinds of people but this is the original like I said the factory that's the crow flies about three miles from my house and it's called Worcestershire sauce to all my American friends over the pond not Worcestershire Shire sauce Worcester sauce anyway that's that rant over I'm just going to put a bit in there and continue with the marinade so there's my lovely quails they've been in I've left them longer than two hours but you know two hours minimum and they look like that and what I'm going to do I've created my oven to gas mark 6 up there as a conversion for you what I'm going to do oven proof dish put them in and I shall roast these for 20 minutes to 25 minutes and then rest them for 10 minutes lovely you know halfway through I'll baste these and what I'm going to do I'm going to cut a piece of this fantastic bread and we're going to just gently fry it off in some olive oil and then cook quails on top fantastic cheap easy 
simple meal slot. So there's my lovely uh, roasted quail. They've been in for 25 minutes and they look stunning. They really do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover these over and let them rest for 10 minutes. So I've got this lovely pavé de pan, French rustic bread. You know, it's French for pavement, resembles a cobblestone. Listen to it. It's absolutely lovely. So I'm going to cut on an angle couple of pieces, quite thick, oh yeah, because I'll just sit my quails on top, look at that, lovely bread, oh, put that over there, have a munch on that, that's all I'm going to do, a little bit of olive oil, then I'm going to rub clove of garlic just over the bread, And on this side, mm. and I'm just going to lay it in my pan. It's that simple. As you can see, been in a few minutes, just starting to brown nicely now. I can't wait for this. So that's my bread done. I shall show you. Look at that. Fantastic. One on there like that, one on there like that. What we'll do, get one of those lovely quails. One on there, one on there. And I should just spoon a couple of these juices over, all the oils all the spices that are caramelised and there you have a fantastic if you ask me little meal of the much underused quail so there's my beautiful quail on toast and personally I don't think you need anything with this I mean you can have a salad you don't want too much you just want a lovely lovely roasted spicy little bird cooked to perfection you can see in there the juices are running oh give it a go thanks for watching oh man i could have had four of them they were tip top many thanks